Hello and welcome back to this uh, third episode of Distant Worlds 2. As the first act we are going to hopefully colonize Giannis Major here. And how does it exactly work? Oh, it's a short time compared to scanning for example. And oh, we got lucky. So we now have a, colon a colony here on the independent planet, which is a little bit to the south, but that's fine. The Agdarians are going to join us now. We get deep ocean harmonious development. I'm not going to put more ships. We get a happiness boost, of course. And we do get, oh, well, negative income on top. Let's continue. In fact, we do want to build a starport here from the get go. And the planet has to be scanned. I completely explored already. Interesting. And yeah, 14% growth. Amazing. Now, mm, ah, yeah, new colonies. Do we have anything? Nothing? I thought in Narva was a deep ocean planet. Yeah, here. Why can... Ah, because they are not yet integrated. That's the thing. We need to assimilate them first. Then afterwards we can, in fact, probably colonize with them in our empire. Planetary governance is on a good way currently. And we do have enough income now to be at maximum speed, 188. Research output, that's extremely nice, really big for this early in the game. Despite being on slow research speed. And as we can see here, our trade is mostly around this axis here. And we are going to, of course, improve further on this. Now, we have a lot of... Now wait a second, passenger ships. Yeah, we still do have a lot of strengths. Oh, we have really a lot of them. And most of them are still getting moved to Ecloy, which is our in-system colony. Yes, we're going to build that mining, mining base. And Nova 3 is already up to 800 million people. And it's increasing extremely fast. Now, the Wait a second. In the automatization I set up, you have colonies in Texas. Target approval for small colonies is 40. And it only increases taxes when you are above 40. Now, of course, f the approval rating or the happiness has an impact on growth and stuff. Therefore, uh, it's relatively fast for small colonies. Now, the you are no longer classified as a small colony when you reach 10% of maximum population on that planet. And Nova 3 has 16 billion, so we need 1.6 billion people before we are no longer classified as a small colony, which is more or less over half the population of our main planet currently has. For, exa for example, he is uh, this planet is 900 million to, to be no longer classified small and it needs around 450 uh, 4.5 billion to not no longer be classified as medium and this planet rel is relatively small in fact so here we only need uh, 450 million people to be classified no longer be classified classified as small however the ah, assimilation is already done we still don't have... Hmm... Deep ocean... I'm confused. I thought... Why can we not yet... Now I need to think about it. <laughs> I thought we can use the other population to colonize. Now let's check it out again. Or maybe we need the starport for on the planet first. I don't know exactly. Oh, 7% client development. Nice. 
deep ocean world here. Ecur minus 12. Yes, I know, but I'm not... Ooh, wait, ooh, what do we have here? 27 continental moon. That's a no-brainer. We are definitely going to colonize that from the get-go as soon as we can. 27 is really, really good. Carbonite, 67%. But it's relatively small, 2888, that's extremely small compared to, for example, Novar 3 here, which has 6438, which is, of course, if you look at the volume, not not even close to three times that small, like 6 or 8 or whatever, because volume, of course, is not linear. Um... Oh, and we found Kenza again. Nice. Where is Kenza? Show me. Here we are. Kenza has a high priority for a large mining station as soon as we got the money. And... Otharis here. Let's check it out. What do you have here? Oh, that's the continental moon, I guess. Oh yeah, that's, that's useful. If we have a colony later on in the system where we have cancer for the fruits. Now, let's speed a bit ahead, get the colony ship going and I will try to figure out how you can use the Agdarians for population uh, for for settling. Shouldn't be too hard to find out. And also the planetary governance is almost finished now. And we need to think about what we want to research afterwards. Currently we do have a high bonus on high tech. Let's check it out. We do have here some stuff. We have 25% high tech bonus. And I do think I want to use it. For, for example, this one is currently already high tech. We could go into structured research to get another 10% all research and more scientists. Two and a half K is a lot of money. Um, Commerce Center is also affected by that. Nice. So we definitely take it. Um, anything else? Affected recreation system, medical systems. Mm. What else? Enhanced transport. I mean, we could go into the direction of ships, but I'm not super interested currently we could get the next hyperdrive but minus six Poof. and we don't necessarily need it currently the mining upgrade of course would be interesting but minus 12 percent also a massive debuff exploration scanners maybe hmm. or we just do a col colony tech here but minus 12 on that one too. We definitely need to get bonuses here. <laughs> Coordinated docking is also useful. We could go for fuel storage for the quest. I know we can't, minus 11. We are far away. Um, so maybe structured research to get closer to the required thresholds. And plus 10 on everything is quite nice. Does it give you any other point benefits? No, not really. Um, now let's do commerce. And in fact, I do think I want to do the medical system. Which one is giving? I'm not sure. One of them is giving happiness to the planet below. It's either recreation or medical system. I'm not 100% sure. In fact, maybe we can find out uh, in the ship designer. So here, the spaceport. Let's check it out. So the spaceport, basic crew systems, research lab, reactor, Medical rating 100. Okay, there it is. 
And recreation rating 100. And I do think that's giving a bonus to the planets, which we should be able to find if we check out Eclo here. Medical facilities increase our happiness. Yes, plus three. And recreation also plus three. That's good. So in fact, we get bonuses from these tags on happiness. It's a small run. And we're positive here now on Nova. Really, really good. Um, let's check. Is there a medical rating in these ones? Yeah, 125 and 125. So it's a 25% increase which is probably only like one development, one percent development, but still fine. It's a little bit more. And it also gives, of course, other things which like, like upkeep costs reduction and so on. More stuff getting found. Uh, oh yeah, fuel, definitely down there. Cancer, priority. Pot call two. Scandia fruit, yes please. And we do need more necro stone here. Obsidian two. Okay. A lot of stations we want to build currently. And we're just going to bankrupt the civilian economy again. Well, no, I do think I just push ahead a bit and I need to save up some cash for the governance center on our main planets. Which is going to cost how much? 10k or something? Probably. Let's find out. It costs 10k. Yeah, we need to save up some cash. Now we got enough cash to start the planetary administration center on our capital which is of course our main income currently and it's progressing slowly but surely and our Nova colony here is also going up in cash now and in population it's constantly growing okay we get some ah that's a dilute event We are going to take advantage of the myths to expedi expedite diplomacy. And... Um, the, the initial impulse has been to shower us with gifts. We can see no reason not to let them indulge their reverence. To do otherwise would be to ask them an act in variance with their nature. They have launched four ancient eco escorts into orbit and have placed them under our control. They have sent 3,000 Kaslan to our homeworld and we have found valuable treasure worth of 30k credits. Nice. So we do... We got a fleet? Is that what you're... Oh, yes, we do. Okay, then let's merge it up here into one fleet. And... I'm not sure. Do they have better tech than we do? I don't know. Let's just get them back to our home system. So where's our station? Here? No. That's the spaceport. Let's go there. Nice. And we're not going to build these ships here. It may have been a mistake to allow the children of the conflict arrest to show us with gifts. They did so of their own will and with with our without our prompting there appears to be some growing resentment of us on their world we will also have anticipated this it is always disappointing to meet one's idols yeah i know that the chain is going to this event chain is going crazy at some point okay we got another spaceport which is probably here yes it's done and we can also build the Administration center here. Maintenance cost should not be no problem, and we're also going to build it here. And we found a lone trader. Interesting. And a human colony. Where is Pyrrha? Show me. Ah, there. That's good. We can deal with them later because they are not in colonization range currently. And now. 
Yeah, let's take the trade. Here we are going with the Planetary Administration Center. Here it's almost finished. I do think we are going to get like 4k money out of it. Yeah, three, about 3k and now the development is going up. So that should be fine. Yeah, that's a good amount of money. And here it's also growing. Population is going crazy on this planet here. Really, really crazy. Yep. Mm, no, I want to keep some cash currently. And this one, what's the population doing? Yeah, plus 14%. Crazy. Extremely fast growth. And we do have 7 million in transport. And most of them. Yeah, they're still mostly transporting migrants to Ekloi, so from our capital to Nuvaro 3, which they are pushing in population like crazy. And we are soon at the 10% threshold here. This is a mangrove planet. Where is the colony ship? Ah, it's almost there already. And we found another 25 planet in forest moon here. Yeah, let's take it. Yep. Continental, harmonious development, new colony found, perfect. Secrets of life. Okay, let's investigate it. Um. Okay, we either have to go into the archive or into the warehouse. I do like tech, so let's do the warehouse, armor plating, early energy deflectors, and some co some coordinates. Perfect, where are the coordinates? Relative nearby, that's good. So we are definitely going to explore them at some point. Now this colony here is also nice, and it has luxuries on top. Ooh, three in fact, that's massive. Now our new colony here, Torsatoa, we are going to build the Planetary Administration 2 as soon as we can afford it, and of course the spaceport as soon as we can afford it. Now our next colony has been founded, however we are currently massive in debt because um, there was, was it here? I'm not sure where it was and we found a, a planet which was protected by some stations and then we um how's it here that's yeah, here it's this planet here which is protected by a station and you can invest 50k money to um to destroy two of them which we did and at some point we maybe have enough fleet to then clean it up too now we colonized everything which looks decent currently. Now what we need to do however is to build a space station here on Terra Sator and of course in three 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 Rias three Rias of course two also the admin center governance center and everything like this. However also in between I always check the civilian transports here and they're, they are transporting a lot of people on all the time, so that's a gift to Pyro. Now we don't have the money currently, so I don't want to make gifts, not right now. Instead I want to build the spaceport here, I also want to build the admin center here, and as soon as we have the resources which need to be transported there, I'm going to build the small spaceport there. But yes, this cannot hurt to get another um, construction ship currently and yeah our private sector again is bankrupt more or less <laughs> like but they are making 30k which which is of course really really good why do we have is there something hostile here what is here i don't see anything hostile here I don't know. 
Maybe there was a Gravilex or something. We are now at 27% high-tech research bonus. That's of course massive. And that's impacting the techs we are currently doing. Plus 17 now. Plus 17 here. Yeah, that's really, really good. Shouldn't forget that 27 plus minus 10, say, it's only plus 17. Now, we're not going to build escorts yet because we don't have the money yet. And come on, I want... Is there anything we can... Oh, we can build a resort station here. We should do it. Ah, we have run out of money again. Hmm. Yeah, we need money. We need more stuff, basically. Now, not another construction ship for the moment. Liberator of Stars. They offer us protection. We are going to accept it. Because we don't have enough fleet to oppose anyone currently. Okay, we got money. Now let's in fact, oh, we still can't, but we can build the resort station. That's something at least. Okay, let's just continue and wait for the resources to arrive. Okay, for some reason now it's possible to colonize with the Agdarians. It's a tw plus 23 suitability planet. We are going to do it. It's going to be an Agdarian colony. Now, I'm not 100% sure what has changed, but maybe it's because it's no longer a small colony or something. Planet population went up significantly, so maybe that's the reason why it's now possible. In regards to everything else, the most important texts are done, like uh, what we did before, which was medical systems and recreation systems. I also want to put in the crew systems. What did we have here? There's another upgrade to the medical systems. System governance here. We don't have enough bonus yet. Of course, that's very expensive, but also very strong. Now, what I have set up here is I want to get some basic military going. So like basic tracking, countermeasures, armor plating, ship maneuvering, early energy deflectors. And I also went for the building for shock troops here because at some point we are going to need ground forces because the Dayut Kalini, which is here, will not resolve itself peacefully, most likely. Therefore, I want to be prepared. And we are going to need an army for that. We need to get troop transports for that and so on. Yeah, but meanwhile, we are just going to build up and continue the rerivers as soon as we got the resources here. The starbase is going to be built. Well, that's it for the moment. I don't think we can colonize much more in this region, at least unless it's not discovered. In fact, what we could do, we do have how many? Only 10, so let's go up to 15 explorers. That should help to go out from the new acquired planets we currently have. For example, to expand and explore in this direction here. Uh, where are they currently? Yeah, they are like on the edges of our territory currently. currently. What are you doing under construction? Yeah, all fine. So they, maybe we can find more plans to colonize, but also find some people to talk to, because so far we only found pirates, but one pirate faction already disappeared. So someone destroyed it, and I don't know how or how it happened or what happened. In fact, we do have a protection agreement here. So let's do our standard trick. Pause, please basic colonization here. What do you think of that? Oh, that's maybe not enough. We only had plus eight. Yeah, they won't take that. Hmm. Maybe we just do something. We are going to give them pyro. We are going to get some stuff from them. Anything. 11 million for point defense. 
armor plating. Fast mining. Ooh, that's cheap. 800 million for advanced deflectors. Brilliant. Hyperdrive technology for 20k. Yes, please. Improved escorts. I also want that. Basic troop transports, please. Yes. Basic target tracking, yes. Uh, zero G training is not really interesting. Basic countermeasures, yes. Why do they accept that? Let's also reveal Damazi. Um, early iron weapons, early missile, missile weapons, yes. Early pulse weapons, let's try it. Nice. We got a lot of tech from this one, so that's going to be useful. And in fact, can we do something similar to, for example, where is our beloved here? The harmonious void here. They also, no, they don't have tech. They only have ruins. We don't care about ruins. How about you, Blood Moon? No, they don't have tech. Cursed Claw, you have tech. Mm, Starfighters might be affordable. Let's try to get Starfighters for... Uh, they don't really like anything here. What do we have with them currently? Non-aggression pact, yeah. Planetary governance. No. That's not possible. And liberated of the stars, diabolical. What? Reputation factors. Ah, okay, so they attacked someone, but we don't know who. Let's continue thinking about deals with them though. Tractor beams, why not? Mm. Advanced damage control, sounds nice. And deep space damage control unit, yes, why not? And space construction could also not hurt. And in return we can give you... Mm. Governance. Our territory, our galaxy map, that's fine. Some language stuff. Contacts. Okay, you don't want that. Um, now let's kick out the tractor beams. Base construction. Okay, let's give them the ruins here. Maybe, no. Okay, we don't really have anything they want currently, but we are going to get back here to trade something there. We can surely make a deal work. Now let's check out what we in fact unlocked here. Basic troop transports is done. Hmm. What else did we get? We traded a lot of tech. Yeah, he improved escorts, troop transports. Uh, ground combat, early, yeah, some early stuff here. Early pulse weapons. Still looking good. I think the trade deal was really worth it and we can still trade with them to get even more. Coordinated center is also useful for stations to buff them even further. And we have 217 science output. That's good. Uh, fuel base, yes please, let's go there. Another luxury, yes. Apparently we have a polymer deficit. It's fine. 
<laughs> Liberty of Truth Stars offers a non-aggression treaty. Yes, please. And that's giving us a happiness boost again. Let's get another construction ship. That's not a bad idea. And Kalini ship at Ekloy is done. But this one has to go to the Akta planet first. And then it can go where it should be. Okay. <laughs> well, well, well. Forest planets, mangrove forest planets. I definitely lean towards doing. Yeah, we do have what? We do have. We do have a forest moon, a mangrove forest, a continental, and a forest moon, and of course a deep ocean planet. So, forest moon. Hunger Forest Planet. So this is our biggest. This is going to be our best planet so far. Yeah, 16 billion can fit on it. It's going to be massive, in fact. Hunger Forest Planet. Now, and you get buffed by. Here, marsh colonization, Hunger Forest. Minus 12% research speed, that's insane. And 2400, that's so much. Officer training, military academy. And yeah, maybe we have to go for the structured research first. So let's throw it in. And from there we can maybe do, ooh, open trade network. 22% required. So another reason why we want to do structured research. And then we could do the open trade network building. Colony development plus 10, colony income plus 10. And trade income plus 10% empire wide. That's pretty, pretty powerful. Yeah, so maybe that's a plan. Structured research into open trade network and afterwards maybe something here depending on whether we maybe have to get military before that. Yeah, military treaty, of course I'm going to accept it. But here I'm going to make a cut for the next episode. And now that the initial colonization is more or less done, it's now about getting rich and getting a fleet and setting our goals, how we want to proceed. In fact, let's check the victory screen. We don't see anyone yet. But we do have the largest forest colony in the galaxy. It's Ekloy currently. We have the most spaceports in the galaxy. Yes, interesting, with four. Lose the fewest ships and bases in the galaxy. Zero bases and zero ships lost, that's good. Make free trade agreements with 30% of all empires in the galaxy. Yeah, we didn't meet anyone, so we couldn't do it. And build the Colorous Medical Academy at the planet, at the colony. So. That's definitely also possible. I do think we just have to go up the medical tree, which we just did the second tech off. Now, and control 75% of the colonies in the galaxy, that's nev never going to happen. Control 75% of the galaxy's population, we currently have 6%. Now let's remember we selected 13 empires. 13 times 6, 60, 78. I would say we are average currently or below average, most likely. Empire's GDP, 75 of galaxies, we only 4%. Oof. Our GDP is low, apparently. Interesting. Well, okay, it might be because we still have, we have some planets already here, which are purely negative. But Norval is of course on the, on the path to be a, a massive, massive income. We are going to slap special buildings on it later on. 
to have like 16 million people 16 billion people working at like 250 development or something like that that's our goal in the end and the development most likely is going to go up over time it's 33 percent from resources 72 percent here yeah we do need more mining we do need more transportation for example so at some point we definitely have to invest into how it's called uh, fast mining we bought so that's good we need um, where is it enhanced transport coordinated docking is also going to be something because they this is depend uh, deciding how many ships can dock with a station at the same time fuel sets is also going to be interesting just to conserve more on our fuel consumption therefore reducing the necess necessity of trading and stuff yeah these these two is something we want to do at some point this one of course too as soon as we are stable above 5000 income and energy collection is also useful and we probably need better ships so we need space construction at some point and enhanced civilian ships to get to the large mining ships medium freighters and medium passenger ships at the end so much stuff to research and we are just at the beginning however our tech bonus here in construction and high tech is going to help us significantly in that regard therefore see you in the next episode and leave a like and subscribe